Today we're going to be removing this broken bolt. It's in aluminum uh, due to rust, corrosion. It has kind of become one with the aluminum. The head sheared right off when I was trying to undo it. This is the bolt that holds the ABS sensor, the wheel sensor, the wheel speed sensor onto the, the bracket here. And yeah, I put my socket in there and turned and it just sheared right off. So what, I, what I'm planning to do is with my welder, I'm going to build up a little weld on top of this, this bolt piece that's sticking out. Again, this is steel. The carrier's aluminum. I'm going to take a nut and I'm going to weld onto the nut. So I can weld this nut onto the end of this thread on the end of this broken bolt. And I'm hoping that the heat will help break the corrosion bond and then once I have something stronger to grab onto, I'll be able to unscrew it. We'll see if this works. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a little blob of weld onto the top of this bolt. What I want to do is make sure I have good weld penetration onto the part of the bolt that's exposed. If the bolt was broken off flush, I would use a little bit of weld like this to build up the bolt to put the nut on to give me something to hold the nut in place. The good thing about the carrier being aluminum and this being steel is that I'm not going to weld the two together and I'm not going to weld anything to the aluminum. Steel welding doesn't work on aluminum. So let's see if the camera picks up the welding. Alright, I'm pretty confident I have as good a weld penetration as I'm going to get onto that, onto that bolt. So now I'm putting my nut in place, being careful not to touch the, the weld I just made because it's quite hot. I may need pliers to help hold this. Maybe a screwdriver will help me hold that just right. And first I'm going to tack the nut on, and then I'm going to remove the screwdriver and finish my welding. Now that the nut is welded onto place, I'm going to let it cool off. And once it's cool, I'm going to put a socket on there and see if it unscrews. Let's give it a shot. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of off direction, a little bit of on direction. Try to go back and forth a little bit to help break that corrosion bond. It's feeling promising.
against it going back and forth a little bit. I'm also going to give it a little shot at WD-40, make sure the threads stay lubricated. Hot, so I'm going to be careful not to touch it with my fingers. See it backing out there? Still coming. to a nut. And the threads look pretty good in the hole there. I'll probably just run a tap in to make sure it's cleaned up and I'm going to make sure to use anti-seize on the new bolt that I put in.